Factsverse presents Wife reads out her husband's affair texts instead of her vows during ceremony. Ooh, this one is gonna hurt! Before we get into the video, though, help us spread the word about Factsverse by clicking that like button. Also, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. For most people, their wedding day is the most important day of their lives. Most people plan their wedding for years, and Casey was no exception. When her boyfriend Alex proposed marriage, she began planning everything. Her friends said that if she could have controlled the weather, she would have done so. Well, Casey didn't want to see Alex before the wedding, so she and the bridal party checked into a nice hotel and they were going to have a girl's night. They had champagne, appetizers, and they got in all their pajamas. The idea was to spend one last night together while Casey was still single so that they could share stories and have a good time. While the women were talking about marriage, honeymoons, and sharing lives, Casey started to get cold feet. Suddenly, she began to wonder if she was making the right decision to marry Alex. Her fears went from zero to sixty in about two seconds. Her friends knew that she was just having cold feet, and that's normal. So they tried to calm her nerves, but nothing seemed to be working. She just had that feeling. Her best friend Jennifer realized there was only one way to help Casey. It would be breaking the rules, but she knew that her best friend needed some help to calm her down. So Jennifer took Casey's phone and she called Alex. She explained how Casey was feeling and that it was normal, and she let him know that she just needed to hear his voice and it would help calm him down. Well, Alex knew that that was breaking one of Casey's most important rules, so he knew this had to be serious. Jennifer gave Casey the phone and she took it into the bathroom. When she came out 20 minutes later, she did seem a lot better. All of her fears were gone and she was ready to get some sleep so that she could marry the love of her life the next morning. She'd been with Alex for six years and she was sure he was the one. While Casey was busy thanking her best friend for saving her wedding, she received a few text messages on her phone. She was sure that it was well wishes from friends and family members and she decided to just ignore it for now. She was spending time with her friends. She'd check it later. Then she got another text and her curiosity started to get the best of her, so she checked the phone to see who was sending her the texts, and she was a bit surprised when she noticed that it was an unknown number. After reading the first text, she realized it was somebody she didn't know, but her fiancé did. Casey looked down at her phone and she was devastated. She stood in the bathroom alone for 15 minutes with tears pouring down her face. After a while, her friends began to worry about her in the bathroom being in there so long and they knocked on the door. When she saw her friends come through the door, she realized that this time there was nothing any of them or even Alex could do to make things better. It was her worst nightmare. The texts that Casey received were from a woman that Alex was having an affair with. She sent Casey screenshots of messages between herself and Alex. Some were from several months ago. Others were just from a few days earlier. At the end, the woman texted, I wouldn't marry him, will you? She couldn't believe that he was cheating on her. She never expected this from him. After six years of being together, she never even suspected that Alex was cheating. She felt like a fool, and she considered calling off the wedding for a split second. But instead, she was going to go through with the ceremony so that she could let everyone know the type of man Alex really was. Casey didn't want people to know that anything was off, so she put on her dress and she acted like she was really excited for the wedding. She was really excited, but not about marrying Alex now, but about letting everybody know what he had done. People had traveled from far away to attend this wedding, and she was going to go through with it, up to a point. When Casey was walking down the aisle, Alex could tell by the look on her face that something was wrong. When it was time for Casey to say her vows, she took out her phone. Alex assumed she was going to read the vows she had written, but when she began reading, he got the shock of his life. She read, This weekend, you and I, it's on, hot stuff, bring your A-game, your body is so effin' incredible, and expletive do you know how to use it. I wish my girlfriend has skills like you. She went on to read each of the text messages word for word while Alex stood in shock. He didn't even know what to say. Finally, Alex tried to grab the phone, but she didn't let him. He knew he was caught. He knew the girl he loved more than anything had caught him, and it was over. He ran from the altar with his best man running close behind.
Casey apologized to Alex's family for the way that she handled things, but she thought it was the best way for people to know the real story. She didn't want Alex putting the blame on her if she called off the wedding at the last minute. Who knew what kind of story he'd try to spin? She needed people to know the truth. She let everybody know that they were still invited to the reception for food, drinks, and dancing. This story quickly went viral on social media because it was just something that just doesn't happen. She read out her husband's affair texts during the ceremony. How's that for perfect revenge? Subscribe for more.